I've never heard of it either. Hey, bolo buddies. Thanks for watching. All right. In this video, we're going to talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell for a profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. I posted this in my bolo buddies Facebook group. It says, share your best July bolo. And if you're not in my Facebook group, this is what it looks like. There's a link down in my link tree in the description of the video. You can check that out and come on over and join. And you can share a bolo to be featured in a video just like this. Okay. The first one comes from a big money bolo finder. I have talked about him before. I have featured his store. He's incredible. Amazing steals and deals. And if you want to see an entire video featuring his bolos, check this out. I will link it in the description. He is a Bolo Buddies member, so um, I'm going to pop up his eBay store right here, and I'm going to link it down in the description. Make sure you go down and you follow his eBay store by clicking on the little heart, and that will let you know when he lists new items and when he runs sales or sends out coupons. Bought it in a state sale for $125. Sold in two days for $575. When I tell you he is a Bolo Finder, he is a bolo finder. He is not afraid to pay up if he knows it's a bolo. And typically when he knows, he knows. Those things sell quick. It is a Cat Caterpillar 9U-5132 timing and fuel setting tool with case missing one gauge. I wonder what it would have sold for if it was complete. <laughs> Are you ready for this one? Same seller. Amazing steals and deals. Paid $30 at an estate sale and sold in one day for $950. You featured one just like it that I sold last month and the same buyer also bought this one. It's a Bach, oh, Stradvarius, 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 Boar Coronet, mouthpiece and original case. 30 into 950 right there. Another big money bolo finder. And this one has a YouTube channel. So you better go follow her because she is going to pack you full of knowledge of big money bolos to go look for. I'm telling you what, mindful recycle. Wow. Every time I watch her videos, I'm like, wow, wow, wow. She picked this set up two weekends ago at a church sale very late in the day. Everything was picked over already. These were sitting there waiting for me. I had never heard of this brand. Paid $10. Sold on auction for $330. I will say she is not afraid to ship big things. It is a Royal Prestige Surgical Stainless Steel Pot Pans 5-piece set. There you go. I've never heard of it either. She is also like Mr. Christmas... She finds it. She sells it for big money all the time. Picked up this Mr. Christmas last summer at an estate sale for $25. Sold it for $249 and the buyer paid shipping. It is a Mr. Christmas Double Decker Carousel 2003 Christmas original with 30 songs in the box. That's what it looks like. My July Bolo was this vintage Metropolitan Museum of Art Unicorn in Captivity Completed Needlepoint from 1974. I found it at a local antique store that was closing down soon. I found it in the upstairs area in a pile of linens. Not many people were venturing upstairs because the temperature was over 100 that day. And there was no air conditioner in this massive store. I definitely put some sweat equity into this one. I paid $4 and I put it on a seven-day auction and it sold for $87 plus shipping. And this is what it looks like. Bought this single stitch Disney store Pinocchio shirt at a little yard sale shop that's open on weekends that a lady has out of her barn. All shirts were 50% off, so I paid 50 cents. I got a bunch of single stitch bolo shirts that sold for quite a bit. Listed high and let it sit. Took a best offer of 130 after a few counter offers. Shirt is brand new condition. It looks amazing for being vintage. Let me see if I can read it. It's really small. Vintage 90s Pinocchio shirt. And this is what it looks like. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member 
Uh, it's All Goods 94. She is also over on Whatnot under the same name, so go check her out. She said, I found this tiki mug at Savers for $5. Almost put it back, but saw a signature on the bottom. Steve Crane. Always look up tiki mugs. This one turned out to be a bolo. Sold within a week for best offer of $135 plus shipping. Could have held out for more, but this item wasn't in great condition. This is what this guy looks like. Steve Crane Ceramic Tiki Mug Tongue Out. Huh. That's an interesting mug. Would you have walked by it or would you have picked it up? Purchase this Barbie storage box at a Goodwill in South Carolina for $2.99. Included this photo because price sticker is still attached. Posted a few of the clothes, which sold within a few hours. Are you ready? All right, so we got this first thing here. It is a vintage Barbie Francy Color Magic Pretty Wild 1777 hat. One hat. A Barbie hat. $75 plus shipping. Very nice vintage Barbie floating gardens outfit. If you can identify them and figure out the number, put that number in your title. It will help you sell your item. $129.99 on this one. She said, listed the purse at $125, but took an offer of $105 since the buyer purchased the matching hat at full price. So the purse is a vintage Barbie Color Magic Francy Pretty Wild purse, $17.77 also. Very hard to find is VHTF, and she took a best offer of $105 on that. And then above that is the vintage Barbie Skipper Clothes, $17.32 Daisy Crazy Fashion Yellow Socks. A pair of Barbie socks, $34.99 plus shipping. You got to love it. 1993 Alice in Chains Rooster T-shirt large. Bought it at a $5 bag garage sale. Took a best offer of $220. It's a vintage 1990s, 1993 Alice in Chains Rooster graphic band T-shirt. Picked these up at the Goodwill for $1.99 a piece. Listed on Mercari for $35 and $40 each. Both sold within five minutes of being posted for full asking. They are vintage Fruit of the Loom Star Wars underwear. Bo boys briefs, but underwear. And this is what they look like. So there you go. This one also sold by It's All Goods 94. Titanic collectibles always take the time to look them up. They might be a bolo. Found this set of eight Ardledge brand Titanic music boxes at a local garage sale for the set. Eight for $50. Wanted to make more, but sometimes it is best to just accept the offer. I did for $280 plus the buyer paid the shipping costs. This is what it looks like. So it's a set of music boxes. Here is another one from It's All Good it's 94. Went to a church rummage sale on the first day. Didn't really find anything, but saw this broken toy for 25 cents. Looked at the year and saw it was from 1987. Battle Beast item. Even though it's broken, missing parts, no accessories, still sold for 102 plus shipping. Always look up vintage toys. Yes, always look up vintage toys. And that thing is... I have never seen that before. Shocking Shark Battle Beast Transport Station, Hasbro 1987, no figure, see details. And she put see details in the title. A lot of times I will put read in all caps if there's a situation or a defect or a problem. But as I tell you guys all the time, things that are broken, they still sell, especially if they're rare and hard to find. Um, it can be a chip. It can be missing pieces, missing parts, people will still buy them. You can also part items out. And I have lots of videos that talk about that. Paid $10 at a local garage sale in Albuquerque. Took a best offer of $350. It is a Hazel Olsen 1980s pottery earthenware cat's wind chime. Huh. This is what it looks like. It looks like it's cat's. And it's some sort of like hanging thing. And maybe it chimes $350. And he paid $10 at a garage sale. All right, you guys, I have mentioned quite a few really awesome bolos in this video. This video is a little bit shorter, but there are going to be lots more to come for this month. I'm trying to get a head start. It's the end of June right now. And I already have all these amazing bolos posted. 
So I wanted to get a head start and get these out early July. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out the other videos in this series. Go back, check out June, check out May. So many of these. I've been doing this, gosh, has it been over a year? I think over at least a year, maybe two years. I don't know. I've been doing it a long time. I have over a thousand videos on this channel. So lots of bolo content. I hope you guys will check out another video. If you're new here, let me know in the comments. Say I'm new here and I found your channel this way or whatever. And if you're not in the Facebook group, this is what it looks like. There's a link in my link tree. Go and check it out. Check out those links down in the description. Those are all things that I use for my business. They are very, very helpful. And most of them, you will get something if you end up deciding that you want to use that service. There's usually like a little kickback for you. So uh, they are referral links. So it helps me also. And I appreciate when you guys do that. It definitely helps support the channel. And if you guys don't know, for me personally... Um, summer slowdown on the platforms is definitely a thing, but I'm feeling it here on YouTube also. So if you can check out another video, that would be incredible. Share it out with your friends. I would appreciate it so much. And thank you again for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.